I painted a few landscapes in college. I studied under Bob Sutlow, who was a great landscape painter, and played around with pastel drawings and watercolors for landscapes for years. But it wasn't really until about 1990 that I really focused on painting oil landscapes. And the more I did, the more intrigued I became with them. And especially in going out to the Southwest, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, California, Nevada, the West really enchanted me, it really drew me to the landscape. The trees, the skies, the incredible cumulus clouds, uh, the, the rock work, I, it just, I was very intrigued with it. And painting them, the, it wasn't hard to paint them, but it was tricky to get the compositions right and to make them look uh, uniquely mine. But after doing probably a thousand of them, and I've sold about 700 of them. Uh, I really feel like I know what I'm trying to do with them, and they're surprising. Sometimes I do one, and it's it's like it's better than all the rest, and then I do the next one, and it's like, oh no, no, this one's better than all the rest. I mean, it's it's very humorous at times, but I enjoy them, and then in pulling them out. I have a lot of them up in the house, but I also have racks and racks of paintings here. And in pulling them out and looking at them again, or just looking at the photographs I have of them, I, I really enjoy them. Landscapes are very soulful. The scale of them is, is very important. Most of my uh, landscapes are 16 inch by 20 inch. I do some of them a little larger, and I've done some great big ones, you know, 30 by 40s, some of the real dramatic canyon paintings or large paintings, and uh, they have a lot of impact. But most of the colorful kind of incidental landscapes are smaller paintings. People like them that size, and I like them also. They're easier to frame and uh, easier to care for, and I don't get too wrapped up in them. They, I just do one, and uh, I usually, when I start on one, I, I don't stop until it's really done. Uh, sometimes I'll start on another one and still be working out some issues in uh, another painting. By and large, I start on one and finish it and go on to the next. Uh, sometimes they take several days, sometimes they take weeks. Uh, I don't really particularly care how long they take. It's more about the experience of it and how much I enjoy the color. Uh, you know, the, the West, the Southwest, is just so full of color, the skies, the rocks, and just driving through there, it's just, it's just amazing. It's always hypnotizing to me. Uh, I frequently have to pull over and take some pictures or do a quick sketch or just stop and stare at it. I mean, it's just magnificent. This video shows pricing and sizes of these. The, uh, the pricing is, is I, I don't sell it by the square inch. I kind of sell it more about how much I care for the painting or how much work it was. Sometimes I do a painting and I, I feel it's very incidental and I'll sell it for less money. And then sometimes I do a painting, I really love it, I want to keep it, so I price it accordingly. But these prices are based on uh, previous sales and after selling as many as I have I've got a pretty good idea of what they bring and what I should price them at so if you're interested let me know I would appreciate it. and I can easily ship them to you thank you very much for watching
I've added some more more uh, photographs of some of these paintings. Some of them are sold and uh, I no longer have them, but I figured I'd show them anyway. I've had some really incredible collectors come in and uh, take them off my hands. And once they're gone, I'm left with a photograph of them and a great memory of them. But more importantly, I've really enjoyed meeting some of the collectors that have purchased them people from all walks of life and they're always very appreciative they recontact me and it's like an old friend uh, revisiting and our context is the painting or paintings that they purchased I've really enjoyed that part of making art getting to know people on a level that you, it can be experienced in no other way these paintings are some of them new, some of them old, uh, but they're basically mostly from the last 30 years, 35 years. What I'm working on more and more lately are smaller detailed paintings. There's a few of them in here, uh, canyon paintings, rock paintings, uh, but <clears throat> I'm spending more time uh, lately working on narrative paintings, figurative paintings they seem to be drawing me more now. But that's the beauty of it. I can kind of go back and forth. So anyway, I hope you enjoy these and please let me know if you have any comments. Thanks for watching. One last thing, this last batch of these paintings here at the end, uh, they haven't got sizes or prices on them, but the price is going to be roughly the same as what the rest of them are. Uh, you can pretty well figure out what the, the sizes are. Uh, unfortunately, they're not titled, but I know where they all are. I have a very accurate inventory of the paintings and where they are in the racks. So if you can just describe them or send me a screenshot, I'll uh, dig it out and take better pictures closer up and back and uh, details of the frame and make sure that the painting is still in as perfect shape as I think it is. But let me know. I'd be more than glad to help you. I'd love if you had one. Thank you.